my book, You Got This, Everything That You Need to Master Authentic Public Speaking is a practical guide to speaking for practically any event from either those with a lot of experience who just need to polish up their public speaking skills to those who are new or just not familiar, maybe they're fearful of public speaking. And so what I'm going to talk to you is one of the chapters in my book, it's called Overcoming Fear. And so it states that, have you ever felt weak in the knees and sick to your stomach when speaking in front of a live audience? If you answered yes, then you are not alone. In his article, The Thing We Fear More Than Death, author Glenn Croston states, surveys about our fears commonly show fear of public speaking at the top of the list. Even G comedian Jerry Seinfeld joked that if you go to a funeral, you're better off in the casket than doing the eulogy. And so it's common. I've been working with uh, people for years, from those just out of high school to those who have had years of professional experience. And most people are, or I'd say a lot of people are very fearful of public speaking. And so this book addresses some of those fears and how you can manage them and even prevent them and use them to uh, your, your best so that you can harness that energy from the fear and uh, create a more confident and polished speaking audience. So uh, to a speaking audience, one of the things that is common when people are fearful are doubts. And so people might be afraid of that they're going to forget what to say. They may end up speaking too quickly or maybe uh, too slowly. They are afraid of sounding or looking stupid, boring the audience, maybe worrying about tarnishing their credibility, um, or perhaps just having their idea or whatever they are proposing rejected. And these are very common, um, and common fears. So, some things that you can do in order to help and prevent those fears is to take a deep breath. So if you feel those um, nervous butterflies in your stomach, be conscious of that and just take a deep breath. That can actually slow down your heart rate. That can give you some more oxygen and help you to think more clearly and speak um, in a more comfortable tone, not only for you but for your audience who are listening to it. Another thing you can do is to smile. So that also can not only be engaging to your audience, but it can help you relax as well. Drink water. It, people can end up getting dehydrated and that can make their throat dry and it may be hard to articulate the words. And also it's, it's a distraction and a diversion from those fears. So just the act of picking up a, a glass of water and drinking it takes that focus off of being fearful and onto the activity at hand. Another thing you might be able to do is to give yourself a massage. Obviously you want to do that in front of an audience, something that's, you know, you're doing that, but just maybe even just a slight hand rub, um, maybe behind the ears or, or somewhere on the shoulders. You can do that before you get on stage if you feel those nerves are cropping up. Certainly give yourself a pep talk. Tell yourself you're going to do well. Keep bring it on, keep telling yourself those positive, encouraging words. If you tell yourself the opposite, negative words, you may start to believe what you are telling yourself. So opposite of that is telling yourself you're going to do well. Envision yourself in front of a live audience with a very captive audience who are enjoying what you have to say. And not only that, but you are enjoying the activity as well. Pause if you need to. You find yourself sprinting out of the gate and you may look and see that your audience is having a hard time keeping up. Stop, pause. It helps give you an opportunity to collect yourself and your audience to assess and think through what you've already shared with them. And then you can move on. Moving around is also a way to help manage and prevent those nerves. If you, you may find yourself frozen on stage and that can, that's, um, can not be beneficial when you're trying to overcome those fears. So just some movement can may help relax you. Again, can get that air going through, get the, the blood circulating. Um, and another thing that I recommend is to uh, focus on your audience. Take the focus off of yourself and instead keep in mind the purpose of why you are giving your presentation 
and that it's really about your audience more than it is about them. At least that's what they are thinking. They're wondering what they can get out of it. So take that thought out of your mind that this is all about you and it's really about them and how, what can you do to help them to share that information. So it's just a few tips and ideas of what you can do to feel more confident and more comfortable when giving a presentation. And so I, I recommend that you check out my book. You got this. It's available at the, at the public library. You can also find it online through Amazon and other online booksellers. It's available in audio format and hard copy as well as an e-reader. So thank you so much for your time.